Welcome to the CA Plan Analyzer for DB2 for Xeos video. Today we'll talk about virtual index maintenance and how to create and use a virtual index definition. We'll start with an overview of the virtual index maintenance feature. We'll explore a use case and see how one database administrator creates and uses a virtual index definition. We'll summarize what we've covered and learn where to find more information. What is a virtual index? Virtual indexes are a DB2 feature that let you create index definitions that are not physically built using data from a table. These index definitions contain columns and statistics on those columns, which influence the DB2 optimizer to consider using the virtual index during an explain. Virtual index definitions are stored in and retrieved from the DSN Virtual Indexes user table. In this use case, the table is created under the user's ID. What is Virtual Index Maintenance? Virtual Index Maintenance is the CA Plan Analyzer feature that lets you create, template, update, disable, or enable a virtual index definition. In addition, you can virtually drop an existing catalog index or delete the virtual indexes associated with the table. When used with the CA Plan Analyzer Explain feature, you can simulate the effect of creating, changing, or dropping an index without the overhead of these processes. Meet Lynn Parker. Lynn is a DBA at Nordal Industries. Lynn wants to know why she is seeing an increase in Get Pages. Lynn begins her investigation by using the Identify Problem SQL option in CA Plan Analyzer. She determines that there is a SQL statement that is using a table space scan to access the department's table. The access method is not optimal and Lynn wonders whether she can solve this problem by having the SQL statement use an index. Creating an index generates a lot of overhead and she's not certain that would fix the problem. Lynn decides to test her theory by creating a virtual index definition which allows her to experiment with specifying different key columns and statistics without affecting other applications. Because Lynn is using the Virtual Index Maintenance feature for the first time, she verifies that her DSN Virtual Indexes table exists and is empty. If she did need to create this table, Lynn knows that she can use the Create Explain Input Tables option. Lynn starts creating her Virtual Index definition. She types VI in the command line and presses Enter. Lynn arrives at the Virtual Index Table Maintenance panel. This panel includes data from the DB2 catalog along with data from Lynn's DSN Virtual Indexes table. Lynn begins creating the Virtual Index definition by specifying her selection criteria in the header fields. The Virtual Index Creator field already displays Lynn's user ID, L. Parker. Lynn specifies a value of index in the level field. In the table field, she types in a mask of D E P A R T percent sign. In the creator field, Lynn types in N O R. Lynn leaves the asterisks in the remaining fields and presses enter. The department's table in the existing DB2 catalog index display. To create the virtual index definition, Lynn specifies VC for virtual create next to the department's table and presses enter. Lynn arrives at the virtual create index panel, which is populated with default values. To select key columns, Lynn specifies a Y in the key select field and presses enter. The update virtual create index columns panel displays. Lynn's existing index used department number as the only key column. Lynn decides to use manager number as the only key column in her virtual index definition. Lynn selects the manager number key column by specifying the number one in the sequence field and pressing enter. Manager number is now selected as the key column. Lynn saves her changes by pressing F3 and she returns to the Virtual Create Index panel. Lynn looks at the updated values in the key columns and key length field, which confirm that her selections from the previous panel were applied. Lynn knows that updating the statistics can help lead to a more accurate analysis. She specifies a Y in the Update Stats field and presses Enter. The updated statistics display Lynn accepts the remaining defaults and presses F3 to save. She returns to the Virtual Index Table Maintenance panel. Lynn's new Virtual Index definition displays on the table. By default, the Virtual Index is enabled. She's ready to determine whether this index will eliminate the table space scan 
fixing the high get pages. Using the CA Plan Analyzer Catalog Reporting feature and the Rebind Compare Analysis command, Lynn sees that the SQL statement now accesses the table using the virtual index, eliminating the table space scan and likely reducing the high number of get pages. To fully assess the effectiveness of the virtual index definition, Lynn completes a more comprehensive analysis for other SQL accessing this table. Based on the results of her analysis, Lynn decides to create a new index that is based on her virtual index definition. Today, Lynn addressed a problem with a high number of get pages. She determined that the get pages issue was due to a SQL statement that was accessing the department's table using an inefficient table space scan. Lynn created a virtual index definition and used this definition with other CA plan analyzer features to determine that a new index that is based on the virtual index definition would eliminate the table space scan and likely reduce the number of get pages. Additional resources are available, including the product documentation, technical support, online help, and the CA database management for DB2 and IMS community. Thank you for viewing this video. This concludes the training on the CA Plan Analyzer for DB2 for Zeos Virtual Index Maintenance feature.